everyone, this is Coach Julio. Now I'm going to show you some lower body exercises for your quads. Uh, that's unilateral. So we're going to do a split squat, closed chain. Um, the way I like to teach it, you want to have both these 90 degrees. Another way you can look at it, the back of my heel and my toe, that's about the width, I mean the length. So if you're like six foot five, that should work for you. My shoulders above my hips, I'm squared. Why do I want you to start from the floor? Because it's more difficult and it's safer. It's gonna ensure that your range is gonna be there. If you have trouble, you can have a dowel or a, a stick to help you come up. Remember that? I don't want your hand on the wall, you can have it here. So for me, I have my foot flex, my shoulders up, I'm up, and here you go, three, two, one. My knee will no longer touch the floor. That was just a starting position. So I show you again, starting position, my hips are squared facing this way. I drive up. That's full range. Three, two, one. I'm no longer touching the floor. That's a closed chain exercise. Now let's do an open chain exercise. All that means is that one foot's going to be off the floor. Just a step down. What's the difference between a step down and a step up? My foot's never going to come off. And I'm also going to ask that if you do it slow, your tempo should be three, two, one down and add a knee raise. So let's add the arms, why not? I go up, pause, my foot's flex. This box is a little soft, that's why it's challenging me a little bit. Three, two, one, and then I go right back up. Exhale, foot flex, three, two, one. Now show one more, catch. So that being said, whenever you do step ups, step downs, I highly suggest you use a very stable surface makes a huge difference, unless you're trying to get more appropriate steps or ankle work. That's it.